Gerald, yeah. how are you? I'm good. <clears throat> uh, I'm good. I'm just enjoying this tour. Um, it's one of the first times I've been able to just like walk around, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy the city, like, and just be normal, man. Just, you know, get to catch a vibe. Uh, I've been saying it, it's kind of like taking a vacation to Europe, you know what I'm saying? And just having a job to do every night, but throw a party, you know? You've been doing this now for a while. Does it feel like a job? Um, I mean, I always remind myself that I have, you know, the coolest job in the world, pretty much, you know? And, uh, you know, it gets exhausting just like anything else. You know, I go to work every day just like anybody else does. Um, you know, but I always see the light in things and just be like, man, you know, how long have we dreamed of being here? Mm. You know, just enjoy it. Well, before we talk about the music, I'd like to go back uh, just a little bit. On your uh, Facebook page, it, it lists some of your influences. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a Facebook page, but still, yeah, uh, yeah. Th there, it ranges from um, Tupac, mm -hmm. Nas, uh, but then also Bob Dylan, Johnny yeah. Cash, and the Beatles. Mm -hmm. So what was your musical upbringing like? Yeah, I mean, my musical upbringing inside the house, um, I spent a few years living in my grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was me, my mom, my little brother sharing a room, and then in the other room it was my aunt and uncle who played in a surf rock band. Okay. And then my grandma and grandpa who listened to, you know, music they grew up listening to. My mom would play the Beatles, and next door, you know, my aunt and uncle were listening to, you know, Cake and like, you know, like, like contemporary, like sure. rock. Um, and then, you know, my grandpa playing Johnny Cash. And uh, then outside the house, you know what I'm saying? Like, with my friends, it was all Mac Dre, okay. you know, Tupac. Like, so grew up within hip hop, you know, as a community, as a culture. But then, you know what I'm saying, inside my house, it's like my mom's playing Bob Dylan, sure. you know, so. Is, is there one name from that period that kind of sticks out for you, or maybe even an album? Uh, the Beatles. Okay. I mean, that's my favorite band okay. ever, yeah. And, and, well, this is a weird question, but what about the Beatles makes them mm -hmm. so good? Um, I think it's the, the universal, you know, finding ways to, 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 to tell stories or to capture an emotion or, or tell a story in a universal way people can relate to. In music that's simple enough, you know what I mean, that it's at the same time, like, the world can understand it and appreciate it. You don't have to be like, you know, this, but doing it so extremely well and in a way that no one else could. It's really tough to, like, make a brilliant pop song, sure. you know what I'm saying? Something that's like artistically, you know, brilliant, but still widely, you know what I mean? Like digestible or like, you know what I'm saying? That the world can understand. Sure. And um, I just think their melodies and their lyrics and you know what I'm saying, the moods. Is, is this in a sense then uh, the highest achievable for a musician to, to have universal appeal, but still have that artistic? I think, yeah, no, nah, you said it, that's, I think, a lot of people would tell you that is, you know, one of the highest achievements in music is to have universal appeal, but to have artistic, you know, respectability in terms of like, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And um, it's a thin line, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it can be tough, but um, that's, that's the ideal, yeah. And, and, well, you mentioned all these influences. When, when was this idea born in, in, into your mind that, that you wanted to be a musician, that you wanted yeah. to do something with it? Well, first, you know, it's one thing to dream about doing it, but it doesn't mean anything because it's like, you know, you don't even think about it as a possibility. Who has the tools to make music? So I was like 13 or 14 and all of a sudden, you know, uh, this technology and, and these tools were all, all, all of a sudden, like, they were accessible. You know what I'm saying? You could make beats, you know, on your computer with your headphones in your room and you can get a microphone and you know, you can get some free program to record vocals on and sure. you could, you know what I'm saying, make a song. And then MySpace came out. You know, and this was all when I was like 14, 15. So all of a sudden these tools were here and this, this whole possibility became real. You know, it's like, I can do this. So that's when I fell in love with it. And, well, part of this you also uh, chronicle in, in, in your track Sad Boy. Uh, yeah, Sad Boy. Um, in a sense, dreaming of, of uh, becoming a musician. And, and now mm. that you are, is it as, as, as you expected it to be? Um, I mean, it's ups and downs, just like anything else. You know, things aren't always as, you know, 
as they appear or what you what you what you think they'll they will be from the outside looking mm -hmm. in or something like that. Everything has its ups and downs. But I mean, I just walked around Amsterdam all day with my friends, you know what I'm saying, that I work with. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I can't believe we get paid for this. Fair enough. So life is good. And when you started writing and starting creating your own track, w w tracks, was it always, uh, because your, your latest album is quite personal, was it always of, of that level? Of the, do you put that much of nah. yourself into it? Mm -mm. No. I mean, it's, you know, anybody can talk slick or, mm -hmm. you know, talk shit or just like, you know, and there's a time and place for that. And that's, you know, most of my early work was just like, you know, just party shit, just, you know what I'm saying, me bragging, whatever. Like, uh, so only on like recent albums I started to open up, but it, I think that's a process, you know, you don't just, it, it, it can be kind of hard to go there sometimes, you know. Yeah, was it difficult for you to do so? Because there are, well, the, one obvious one, uh, everything will be okay. Yeah, was yeah. that a difficult track to make? Uh, difficult in the sense of like, when I actually sat down to write it, it just poured out of me. Okay. Like those were probably like the fastest verses I'd written. I just didn't stop, I just, it just came out easy. But to get to that point, to be able to do that song in the first place, that was difficult, you know. What did you have to experience before you could write a song like that then? I mean, it takes confidence to be able to open up to that level. It takes, you know, bravery, I think, to talk about something that close, mm -hmm. you know, in front of, you know, a million strangers. Sure. And well, I suppose your mother has heard the song. What, what did she think yeah. of it? No, she, I mean, she loves the record. She thinks it's beautiful. She cried a lot the first time she heard it, you know, and kind of still does, but she thinks it's powerful. And, and you mentioned the word confident, uh, confidence. Was there a moment or, or, or a point where, where things started to shift, maybe on the, on the last record or where you kind of felt that yeah. you were on the right track? Yeah, um, when these things happened came out, I was okay. like, all right, yeah, we're on to something. It did like 50K the first week in the States and it was, projected to do like 5k or okay. something like that's what the label thought and I was like whatever mm. you know just trust me this will work and and is this part of because you studied I, b I believe uh, music industry in in New Orleans mm -hmm. so is this part of your you, I think the first two releases of yours uh, were independent as well so so is it part of the, of what you kind of learned and and and, and the trust I think that you man you, I think you learn by getting your hands dirty okay. in anything in life you got to you know it's, it's, it's trial and error. You really got to be in the field. So, you know, that's what we did. We just kept doing and kept doing and kept doing and going and going until it finally started to click. And then, well, you mentioned this work, uh, work ethic and this uh, comes back on, on a lot of the tracks as well. So <laughs> when was this instilled into you? Did you always have that drive? Yeah. Yeah, since I was little, okay. I just had you know, some kind of drive. I just didn't necessarily have the direction, but I always wanted to build something from scratch, mm. you know. And, well, that I wrote uh, one little bit of, uh, I think one of them, uh, f from the track, one of them, I am materialistic. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what I always like to ask is, what, what is your definition of success? Uh, I mean, success, I don't, I don't think it's something you can. Um, I, don't, I don't think you can, you know, describe success as, you know, it's, it's X, because it means different things to different people, sure. and there's different levels of success. Um, I'd say we're starting to enjoy success now. I bought my mom a brand new car for her birthday. That was definitely a dream come true for mm -hmm. me. That was a level of success. But then you look at Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll tell you a billion is success, and he makes it to a B or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's way, way, way up there in the stratosphere. So this just like, I don't, I don't tell myself I made it, I don't tell myself I'm successful, I tell myself I'm hungry and I want to keep okay. going. And then one of the words you mentioned in the track as well is uh, Grammys, so, so mm -hmm. is, is, is that... Is I mean, yeah, accolades are cool, you know, it tells you that, you know, this group of people, respectable group of people, you know, have collectively decided that your work is, you know, receives this level of achievement or recognition or whatever, sure. but I don't base it off accolades, I base it off people, like real people I talk to, you know, like some girls just ran up to me walking here and they were just like, you know, thank you for your music, like, um, you know, I've been through some stuff and that music really helped me through it and, you know, overcome something. So that's like, to me, if I can make something 
that reaches somebody, mm. like real, you know, that's, I don't know, a trophy is like a thing. Sure. And then, and then on the, uh, uh, the flip side of that, of course, and being a public figure is that there are also uh, negative comments. And, and mm -hmm. I believe the, the final uh, track is, is about that as well. So yeah. is it difficult to deal with, with that element as well? I mean, I, I think anybody would tell you, like you can imagine, you, you, you put your all into something, you make mm -hmm. it, you put it out, and nature of today's world, like a blog posts it, and there's a comment section at the bottom. Sure. And if you read a bunch of strangers saying, this is trash, he's the most terrible artist alive, like die, you know what I'm saying? That'll make anybody feel some type of way. So naturally, you know, you either deal with it and find ways, or you let it ruin your day. What's the point in that? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be there, it comes sure. with the territory, so get tough skin. You know. in, in that sense, does it help? And then also about those other uh, personal uh, elements that you, that you talk about in your music, does yeah. it help getting it out? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, music is an outlet, you know, for writers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it's, and it's, you know, it can be therapeutic in a sense to get that out. And then from the listener, it's therapeutic in the sense to like identify with someone and know that you're not the only one feeling some type of way, you know? Finally then, is there, we talked about the Beatles, is, is there one artist or one track that helped you through, through a difficult time? Um, I mean, a bunch. I, I turn to music for everything, okay. you know, no matter what mood I'm in. I just, I love music. I listen to music all the time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. For sure. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.